Hi there guys, my name's John Dean. In today's video, I have something very special for you today. We're gonna look at three things to do with titles. Number one, we're gonna look at how to create a title preset so that you can use it across other titles as well. So say, for instance, you've got 10 titles in a project, each of them look different and you really want to make them all the same style, then we're gonna show you how to do that. Next, we're going to show you how to delete the styles from your Final Cut Pro interface. And finally, we're going to show you how to make a title, a standard title, and have it ready to go in whatever project you create. Also, there's going to be a bonus tip that you do not want to miss. Okay, guys, let's roll the intro and I will see you on the other side. So if you've been using Final Cut Pro for any length of time, you may have heard that you can copy the effects from one clip to the next. So if I just quickly show you what that means. Uh, so if we go into here and change the color to green, um, what you can do is hit Command C uh, on the clip that we've made the adjustment to and go to our new clip that we want to change uh, and make the same. And we can hit Command Shift and V and we can uh, you can see here it's selected the color board and we can click paste uh, and basically we've now made the two clips identical now the point the reason why i say that is because you would think you would be able to do that with titles but unfortunately that's not the case in this scenario so i'm just going to edit undo those two effects um, so for instance if we do try and do that with the title, if I hit Command C and then select this uh, bungee jumping title and hit Command Shift V, it comes up with the same paste attributes box, but you can see that nothing's highlighted and basically you, you're left thinking that you can't create the same styles. That is not strictly true. It is quite well hidden and it's a bit of a secret in Final Cut Pro if you're fairly new to it. Um, but the way to create the same style is say we want to use this man dancing style. We've got the font the way we want it. We've got the uh, outline the way we want it. Um, everything about it is okay. Um, by the way, you can change the outline and the color under face and outline. Uh, so if we, you know, if we wanted to change the outline, we could make it red. Uh, make it a nice red and then we can also uh, change the width as well so that's the way we do that so say that is what you want to use going forward for all the titles in your project the way to use that title then so you can go up here and you'll see the word normal up here now for some reason I've lost mine um, but yours will say normal uh, and what you can do is then uh, go to click on it and go to save all format and appearance attributes uh, it will come up with this box and uh, we can then call it anything we want so if I type in the word demo and select uh, that uh, we've now got a demo um, attribute there so all that we need to do is uh, select all the titles in our project now this could apply to 150 titles if you wanted to um, particularly useful by the way if you're doing branded captions um, this will be very useful assuming that you've converted them to titles first but anyways select all the titles that you want in the project and then simply click on the drop down box and hit demo uh, and now what we have here is all the titles uh, in exactly the same size format and the way we want them. Obviously, you can go down, uh, go through and adjust them accordingly. Um, it wouldn't save anything like transitions, by the way, you'd have to manually do that. But um, actually, as, uh, as I've just sort of shown you there, if you select them all and hit Command T, uh, it will uh, apply all the transitions there. So in short, that's a very quick uh, demo as to how to save the format of a title and apply it to every single other title in your project timeline. But there is a question. Now, you've just created the, this demo. Um, 
uh, sort of uh, attribute here and you can see that I'm building up a fair few and you might think to yourself okay I've created that but now in a few weeks time you might absolutely hate that style and you might be thinking how on earth John can I delete that because there is no button there no sort of uh, option to be able to just x that or cross it out which i wish there would be i hope that will be released in the future um release of final cut pro but let me show you how to do that now so in order to delete that saved title style um, what i'd recommend is first of all closing final cut pro down uh, and then making sure you've clicked on finder uh, so you're in the finder uh, you've got the finder bar up the top here um, you then go to go and uh, what you need to do is hold down the option or alt key on your keyboard and you can see that we're toggling on and off the library button so holding down option we click on library um, and then we need to go to application support now you should have a motion folder there um, now even if you don't have motion installed it should be in there i've tested it on my wife's laptop which doesn't have motion uh, and she still has a motion folder and um, so i'm wondering if that means motion is in titles and graphics and things like that as opposed to the actual app um, but anyway make sure you're in the motion um, folder uh, and then you need to click on to library um, and then we're going to go to textiles uh, and then you can see the demo file there uh, so what we now need to do is just simply highlight um, the ones that we don't want so obviously i've got several different styles here um, so i'm going to highlight demo there's three different files so i'm going to highlight all three um, using command and just selecting them all and I'm simply going to hit command backspace to delete them and let them go all into the um, the recycle bin uh, I'm going to then empty the recycle bin and hit empty get rid of it all commit shall I say um, and now what we need to do is uh, if you open it up what might happen is it will still just it will still be in there and you think okay uh, well I've just deleted it how on earth is it still in there but I've gone on to the Apple support website and I'll leave a link in the description to the exact page so you can look at it yourself um, it says that you need to delete your preferences um, and in order to delete your preferences and by the way deleting your preferences is a very good idea if you run into any type of problems with Final Cut Pro and it's not working first of all try and delete your preferences all it does is it sort of resets some things so you might have to um, you know you might lose a couple of the settings um, that are important to you um, so you might just need to reset those but for the it won't delete any work or any sort of data or anything like that so in order to delete your preferences you need to hold down command and alt on your keyboard uh, whilst Final Cut Pro is opening uh, and you can see here it's come up um, with that and it says deleting the preferences will reset all application settings to their default so it's like you've just reinstalled Final Cut Pro um, libraries documents will not be affected so we hit delete preferences and it's now going to take a second to open up Final Cut Pro as if we've never used it before anyway so Final Cut Pro has opened and you can see it's almost like we've just reinstalled it which um, is okay so we click continue okay we are now we've now found it so we're going to go into the project and there is our um, project all ready to go again um, and if we click on one of these and then navigate to the paragraph uh, title uh, text inspector um, panel then you can see that it has in fact deleted it and um, yeah it's cleared it all out so yeah that is how it is done basically ladies and gentlemen so hopefully that has been helpful particularly if you've been using final cut pro for a while you may have known how to uh, save uh, all format and appearance attributes but you've not been clear on how to delete it from this magical list here that's well hidden um, so hopefully that has been uh, useful hi there guys sorry just a quick one i've just finished the video and i've discovered something very cool in regard to um, saving title presets so let's jump to the computer and i'll show you very quickly 
Okay, guys, so um, what I've just discovered is, and even if you've been using Final Cut Pro for a little while, you may not know this, so bear with me. Um, so if we go into this uh, file here, so where it says normal, we're on the um, this tab in the inspector, the text tab in the inspector. Uh, and what I've just done is create a whole folder um, that we can uh, save our presets to. So instead of having like some long list here, um, and particularly if you've got different formats for different things, um, you can actually create a folder. So that's really, really cool. So um, it's exactly the same way as deleting a file actually. So, so let me just show you how to do that. Uh, so if we just close out of here for the time being, and if we go to uh, make sure we're on the finder window and we've got finder up here uh, and then we click go holding down the alt key um, we can then see the library button uh, we click on that go into application support and find the motion folder uh, go into library in there again uh, and go to text styles and all we need to do is simply create a folder. So, so if you're working on a particular project, so uh, one project that I work on is this. So if I just call it that, uh, and what I can do then is select all the files that apply to that particular client or that particular project. Uh, so we just highlight them all. Uh, and then all we need to do is making sure that Final Cut's definitely closed because otherwise it might uh, throw a wobbler. Uh, all we need to do is drag it into there and now once we open Final Cut Pro again we should then see that we've got a different folder there so that is something that I've literally only just come across um, in the Final Cut Pro so let's take a look and make sure that's actually worked okay so now Final Cut Pro is open we uh, select a title make sure that we're in the right inspector tab uh, and you can see my normal um, normal titles come back there but if we hit that we've now got our folder uh, and we've moved the style from there into a dedicated folder that's listed so you can have numerous uh, text styles or title styles per client for instance that's going to be really useful or per social media flat platform that you're on so wanted to make sure that you guys were aware of that um apologies that the audio is probably not that great i've just literally come downstairs and started editing and found out that so i had to share the good news with you guys um so apologies if this is a bit rough um but yeah hopefully that did help if it did please do remember to hit the like and the subscribe button you guys are amazing so hopefully that has been uh, useful now say for instance you absolutely love this title here um, you're going to do several bungee jumping projects obviously this is just an example it's not the world's best title but say you're going to do several bungee jumping projects uh, and maybe this has got some nice animation to it that you want to use again in fact actually let me just stick an animation uh, basic animation on there for for you uh, so we go to that and then go to that so yeah that is our animation that we're really desperately pleased with obviously i'm not in this scenario but um that's that so my tip if you want to use that specific title in future projects is the following let's uh first of all uh first of all by the way because we've reset our preferences you can see it's back background rendering which we don't want to do um, one of the biggest things you want to turn off in the preferences in Final Cut Pro is background rendering so if we go to Final Cut Pro preferences and then playback uh, we can just simply turn off background render and that will save your library from getting massive. It could get really big if you leave that on so definitely turn that off. 99% of Final Cut Pro users turn that off so highly recommend that. Uh, but anyway back to the topic in hand if you did want to use this animation in future projects what I recommend is hitting R uh, and then double clicking it. Uh, and that's selected the range, the title range. So it's going to only export whatever's in these two yellow, uh, well, in this in this yellow box. 
um, and you can see it's got a black uh, back background now so so what we're going to do is export that off with what's called an alpha channel which will mean that you'll be able to put this title as a file over the top of any old footage that you want so this is a question that comes up with a lot of people so that's why i'm throwing it in this video so in order to do that all you have to do is go to the share button and then sip, simply click uh, export file go to your settings uh, and then you probably don't need audio in this case so we're just going to do video only uh, and then we're going to hit this drop down video codec, uh, codec button uh, and in order to export with an alpha channel so the background is completely see-through you need to select either one of these two now i believe this is super high quality uh, and this is slightly lower quality um, so it's always going to be fairly big in size that's one thing you do have to remember if it's exporting with an alpha channel um, but um, that's what we want so we want apple prores 4444 so four fours um, and as i say what that's going to do is make all the black uh, completely see-through on, on this so that's why uh, you don't want anything in the background for the purposes of this um, we're then going to hit next uh, and then we're going to find where we want to do it and save it to. So I'm just going to hit the desktop for now. Uh, and I'm just going to hit demo. And that's going to now export off. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to re-import it into the project um, and uh, show you what it's done. Okay, uh, so that's all done so i'm going to click on the orgs file just click there uh, and now i'm going to go to my desktop where i've just saved it and i'm going to import it in the demo thing okay so now for the purposes of this what i'm going to do is hit back to the arrow key i'm going to delete this man dancing title and and then i'm going to import that in and you can see that I've got the title ready to go with the animation that I've done with the formatting. Uh, it's now ready to use uh, on top of absolutely anything that I want to use it on. So if we turn off the fire one, uh, you can see it in action there as well. Um, so yeah, that ladies and gentlemen is how you export a title without any background and um, so if i wanted to use that in future projects what i'd probably do is go to file new library uh, and then i would basically create a titles i use a lot library uh, and then i would just call you know obviously name the title uh, name an event uh, whatever i want it to be named so we'll go to orgs and find the actual uh, title that i uh, created uh, or of course i can hit command sorry shift f on the keyboard uh, which shows shows me exactly where it is in the project uh, i then can simply just drag it into this file so we won't need all of those and i'll just hit ok um, and now we have a template library as such um, with our title that we have custom made ready to be used in future projects going forward um, so yep i if i ever needed to use that specific title i would just open that library alongside the project that i'm currently working in i would then literally drag the demo into uh, into the project the live project that i'm working on and hey presto i can now use a custom made title with all the formatting all the animation that i so desire ready to go so hope this video has been helpful ladies and gents if it has please do remember to hit the like and the subscribe button you know what to do thanks ever so much for watching take care you guys are the best and keep making videos bye for now